Greetings explorers! Today's fun educational game that I play about computers is the history of computers puzzle. And so, I have these computer types, uh, not types, models, during the years. And I have to sort them in correct order by year. So, let's see how these computers are developing. I will begin with the first one, which is believed to be developed in 50 years BC. <laughs> this is a little debatable. Uh, they are called ancient computers. They are not electronic devices, but uh, by some circles it is believed uh, it is the first computer mechanism. And uh, this is called the Antikythera mechanism. mechanism. So, this Antikythera, Antikythera mechanism, mechanism is believed to be the first computer in our recent history. Because uh, it is not sure if uh, uh, millions of years ago there were not humans again. <laughs> well, because for uh, that many time, uh, the traces of any civilization should have been uh, completely erased by some, by uh, thought of some scientists. But uh, this is about other subject when I play these games. All right, and uh, we are going to the first electronic devices, electronic computers. Uh, that should be the first generation computers. Okay, uh, these computers were not available to popular humans. So only some science labs had them and uh, they have been big, big. Uh, I believe some of these computers are big with a, a, a basketball field. All right, so we go to the second generation during the 50s. Okay, so the first generation is the 40s. Then we have the second generation of computers in 50s. 50s. Ah, 50s. This should have been good times. I don't remember them, of course. Okay, third generation is the computers during the 60s. Maybe they have be begin. They began to begin to become smaller. <laughs> Is there such arrangement of words? Okay, and during the, the 70s, uh, well, not yet I remember that, so this should be uh, the mini computers. Okay, during the 70s, there have been these mini computers. I don't think they are still available to uh, ordinary humans. But the next one is the 8-bit computer. And I'm pretty sure, I'm actually absolutely sure, it was available to simple humans like me. And I got uh, one of these, uh, I think, uh, Amiga-like computers with this uh, floppy drives to the sides. Okay, during the 90s, we are going to 16-bit computers. 16-bit computers, they are now having three or more colors in their monitors. monitors. Alright, and then during year 2000, we already got 32-bit computers. And after 2010, we have the 84-bit computers. Uh, now, we are uh, we are to witness the age where we will go to 124 or something uh, bit computers where, imagine, our uh, programs should be developed for 
three systems. Right now, uh, there are these annoying <coughs> tasks about programmers to make their uh, software, software uh, to work in these two uh, structure computers. Inter uh, the 64-bit and 32-bit. Uh, so, in the future we will have uh, maybe three options, four options in our generation, maybe. We'll see. But for now, uh, this is until year 2018. And I can say for year 2023, we are still in the 64-bit as most popular, of course, I believe science, science laboratories and other institutions have uh, better uh, computers. And also we have the supercomputers. But uh, this is nothing to compare to a personal computer. Uh, so these supercomputers are not yet available to us during year 2023. I can confirm because I do not have a supercomputer at home. <laughs> All right, but I don't know, maybe some have. If someone know that someone have a supercomputer at home, he can write a comment. Or just uh, uh, this is uh, for today and happy Monday. <laughs>